All right, what's up, friend? Another video. I'm gonna put this actually in the dry fire die hard segments. Um, so, I've had a new uh, competition shooter kind of reach out to me, so I thought I'd make some video uh, for things to kind of, as you're uh, starting your competition journey, what to kind of work on, what kind of focus on at the beginning. So, um, other than safety aspects, we, uh, we need to look at some foundational drills, but let's get to the safety part first. You know, we're gonna follow our four firearms rules of, you know, I'll treat all guns if they're loaded. This one's not, but treat all guns if they're loaded. You know, know what's behind your target. And what is your target? Um, you know, don't press the trigger unless you're ready to destroy it. You know, shoot it. You know, whatever. And uh, be cognizant of your surroundings. I know I'm probably messing those numbers and placements up, whatever. Anyway, so be cognizant of that. Do this in a safe area if you're going to dry fire. Um, behind me, I'm surrounded by concrete. So <laughs> if anything, it's going into concrete. If heaven forbid, but. Since I use these double alpha mags, I have no issues with that. I mean, you know, they're fake, they're weighted, but they're pretty cool. So there's that. So what I'm going to say is um, have a gun. Know it's conditioned at all times. Uh, make sure you're clear. No ammunition in the room. Um, dump, you can have mags, dummy rounds, snap, a.k.a. snap caps in them. So use those if you have them. Um, if not, empty magazines is what's okay. So you always have to deal with some issues but anyway so if you're getting into competition shooting you know dry fire is going to be your biggest key um, I will say probably the biggest thing to work on is in the beginning is probably doing a safe draw it doesn't have to be a fast draw when you first start off be able to draw doing multiple things like standing there hands at sides wrists above shoulders um, there's some weird ones that do this but anyway if you're going to work on a draw it doesn't have to be a fast draw stroke can be a very methodical draw stroke to begin with so um, find your reference points so if the start position is wrist below belts just have your wrists below the belts um, you can do it like this or wrist belt arms relax at sides um, it's kind of hard when your gear is like you can't get you to be super relaxed at sides. so like this go ahead you're gonna try to you're gonna make your index points to getting to the gun so you want forehand and strong hand moving at the same time here so with that so I'll do a Wrist, wrist below belt, relax at sides, kind of start. So what I'm going to do is I'm uh, at the start signal. So I'm going to move both my hands towards the gun. So my support hand is going to come across my stomach. You can pat it like if you're, t that's what I used to do all the time. Now I kind of do like one of these handshake looking motions. So at the same motion, I'm going to go and grab my gun, have my hands meet, and then present out to the target. And that's something simple to do all the time. Shove the dot on because it's not on. I just started this. So, all right. So, I like to have a, a mag in there to rev and weight because if you're drawing a gun without like a mag, the weight's off and the balance is a little off. So, the weighted mag definitely helps. Um, these are double alpha mags if anyone's curious. But anyway, so go ahead. We're going to take these. We're going to draw. We're going to grab our hand to the gun. Hand indexed on, stir, um, on your torso. Meet the gun. Meet the hands on the gun and present to the target. You can just do that slow reps before to get comfortable with it. Uh, do the wrists above shoulders, same thing. Hands move together like so. Just hand to the gun, hand to the, the stomach, kind of like that. Um, the sooner you can get that support hand on to your gun um, together onto the gun, the, fat, the sooner you can build the grip. So there's that to think about too. So you don't have to do it super fast, but if you're getting there sooner. Everything is efficient. You want to be efficient as possible when doing these kind of drills. So, um, you don't always want to do a standing static draw. You want to take a step and draw. You don't always have to pull the trigger either. You can just prep to the wall. Like for people with really good trigger, you know, really good triggers, put the safety on. Like if you got a 2011 and you're practicing, put the safety on because you can't move the trigger back or whatnot, you know, whatever. So, you got a Glock, just go to the wall. Go to the wall. Go to the wall. Even on this Timney trigger, I can go to the wall. I'm not going to break through. I can stop that trigger and I know when that wall is before I break it, even at sub three pounds. So, like, big thing is when you do in USPSA, you'll either step into the shooting area at some different angles. So you can come in, step forward, like so. Step to the side. Step to the other side. There are the times where you're going to be in front of the position and you need to retreat into the box. So you're going to draw and step back. 
or you're gonna have to run into a position and shoot. So a lot of different things to work on the draw. Safe, effective draw. As you know, in USPSA, IDPA, IPSC, steel, um, steel Challenge, there is the 180 rule. So you need to be cognizant of the 180. Don't underestimate it because as soon as you stop focusing, you know, stop thinking about the 180, you'll probably break the 180. But usually good stage designers won't let you have 180 traps. You'll have, I mean, you could probably mess up, but good designers are not going to make 180 traps because they don't want people to be DQ'd on their stages for stupid crap like that. So anyway, just be cognizant of when you're moving with the gun, if you're doing a reload, you don't want to be breaking the 180 going this way. If you're a right-handed shooter, vice versa for a left-handed shooter. You don't want to break the 180 doing a reload. So, but anyway, so cognizant of the 180. Now let's talk about, I think, one of the biggest things that a new shooter can worry, work on is transitions, target to target. You can do this on a paper target at the indoor range. If you have an outdoor membership, you can work on this easy because you can set up multiple stands if, if your range allows. So there's that. So think about it like this. So I'm going to have a, uh, I've got a two target, I've got three targets right here. So I can just present to the target, even just prep the trigger and then move to the next one. But here's what I want to do. I want to be prepped on the trigger or on this target move my eyes and then the gun. Super easy with a red dot. Iron sights is the same kind of thing. You know, focus on that, move your eyes and then the gun. I'll do it really exaggerated. Here, I'm looking at this target here, move my eyes to this one, move the gun, like that. So, some things you can work on in dry fire. Uh, you don't need dry fire targets. You can do it with post-it notes, things on your walls, light switches, whatever. Just do it in a safe environment. Another good drill to worry about is trigger control at speed, if you feel like that. But I would not put that as a super beginner thing to new competition shooters. Safely drawing your weapon. Oh, sorry. Safely drawing your firearm. Transitioning the gun. And then reloads. I mean, you're going to have to work on reloads. If you're a carry optics open, limited PCC, very rarely are you going to do a reload. Um, low cap. You're going to be doing reloads a lot. So one is working on standard reloads. See? Oh, I messed up, but I fixed it. Not all of them are going to be perfect. They don't have to be perfect. Building reps is good. So, Steve Anderson always talks about enforcing the good ones. So, I'll just drop this back out of here. So, I'm going to just... I messed up, but I'm going to say it needs work. I'm taking that from Steve Anderson. It needs work. So, but if I have a good one... I can't even demonstrate a good one right now. But anyway, that one needed work too. <laughs> Do it on that one. That was good. It wasn't great, but it was good. So I'm going to enforce that good. So there's that. There's a lot of things. Working on reloads. Don't just do them static. Do them move. Be cognizant of the 180. You know, my gun's pointed this way. This is a safe direction. But if I point it back this way, I'm going to be breaking the 180. So. Always be trying to do reloads. Um, do them on the move. Like, if you're like a production shooter, you're gonna think about your stage plan. You're gonna be shooting eight to ten rounds, and then need to move on, reload out of that position. So you gotta be thinking. All right, if I gotta, if I'm in this position shooting right here, and I gotta get over there to shoot targets, it's behind me. Just do it. Keep the gun down range. Do my reload. And move on. So work on your draw safely. Transition the gun. Work on reloads, static, and moving. One to two step reloads, right? Not always perfect. You don't have to always be perfect, but work on the right principles. Look the gun at look thing to think about for doing reloads, right? You want to have your eyes on the mag well. You want this going right in here. You want to have a good angle from the mag to the mag from the mag pouch to the mag well. So I'm coming in. If I'm looking here. If I see that mag's going in, I know it's going in. I don't have to worry about it. As soon as you get lazy and just start throwing the mags up in the gun or, or flying, them, flying them over, giving them jammed, throwing them on the ground, that is when you're going to have some issues. So, doing reloads. They don't always have to be perfect. They're not always perfect. You're getting better. You're starting. There. I was not looking at the mag well. I was looking like way up here. So, that's where the mag was going to go. So there's some principles to work on. Safely drawing your firearm. 
keeping those index points going really good. Just work on that, you can work a drawing. Pull the trigger if you feel like it. There's really no rush when you're starting. You can go as slow as you need to. You'll find out that you, know, you, get, you build up some repetitions and you'll get some muscle memory and it'll come with ease. So there's some things to think about. If you've got some more questions on this, feel free to leave comments down below, DM me, whatever. I'm here to help. Um, I'm, I was new into this sport not too long ago and there was great people helping me. So if I can bring something back to you, be my guest. So until next time, guys, I'm going to tell you, get on do the things. I'll see you on the next one.